All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Lamax Angels Garden. It's a beautiful one, so let's get into it. Okay, so the Angels Garden. This is going to be a slightly different video. Uh, reason being is because this was a Christmas gift and I was unfamiliar with this piece as it was to begin with. And after receiving it, I absolutely loved it. But I wanted to find out some more about it because I was pretty, I'll be honest, I didn't know really much about this one. I was unfamiliar with them. I was, I know a lot about the yards for the, like the Halloween stuff and things like that. Uh, but I had not seen a Christmas one uh, before ever. So, uh, you know, like I've told you guys, many times this channel's learning for all of us including myself so I'm gonna be looking for a little help uh, from you guys as well so this video is gonna be more of a review about my initial thoughts and then hopefully between myself and you guys out there we can learn some more about it together uh, when I did do some research on this house I'll give you the info on what I found but there really wasn't much more than this I couldn't even really find videos of other people talking about this or even demo videos from the uh, from the max themselves um, so let's just kind of get into it. Go with me here. I'm going to give you the um, initial thoughts and we'll go from there. So, okay. Uh, this house came out, or this piece rather, came out in 2003. And it looked like it only ran for about two years or so. Um, it, it looked like it retired in 2005. Um, I'm unsure where this was sold at. Um, if it was sold here locally back then, it would have been Michael's for us here in California. Um, but I don't know. I don't really ever remember seeing this. I, I don't know. Um, but it is absolutely stunning and it's nice to see something like this for your Christmas display you know when we think Lamax a lot of us you know initially think Halloween uh, but there's been some really cool Christmas stuff along the way and I'm hoping on this channel we'll get to explore some of that as time goes on um, but this is kind of going to be the start of, of sprinkling that in here so as you can see mine is it overall in pretty good condition um, it was a Christmas gift obviously you can't buy them new anymore so it has a couple little hiccups around Around it uh, but overall it's beautiful and I have no issue displaying it this way so let's just get a closer look here just kind of show you some of the details around um, it's very similar to like the Halloween one you know uh, like the bags here coming down that are like jack-o'-lanterns on those but on this one I think it's more of like Christmas tree designs you know things like that um, I see a dog house a little sleigh I mean it really is a perfect kind of front yard for you know whatever Christmas house you have um, and then, in my opinion, these lights back here kind of remind me of Disney, uh, Disneyland, Mickey Mouse, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure why. I think it's kind of like maybe the, the design just kind of feels Disney to me. Um, I, I doubt that was the intention, but I did get that feeling from it. Um, as you can see, the lights on the tree kind of, you know, twinkling back and forth to different uh, bulbs around. I'm not sure if it's showing up. Uh, there is some angels hanging from the tree as well, or maybe flying would be more of the correct term. Uh, there's some cool little trees, kind of bushes, maybe rather nice snowman that is lit up, as well as a Christmas tree that is lit up as well. Um, they they seem to be lit up from fiber optic lines, so I don't know if it's supposed to change colors or not. So I'm hoping that um, if you have one out there, you can let me know. Um, we do, you know, obviously repair these houses. I have never repaired this one before, so if it is supposed to uh, change and rotate, then I'd be happy to get in there and look. But I don't want to open it up, you know, unless I know that you know that's what it's supposed to be doing. So, anyways, uh, let's take a look at the front gate. It has two beautiful wreaths on each side and two little Christmas trees, as well as each post has a lamp on it that does light up. As you can see, all of mine but one in the back uh, is working. Uh, so just a little fix back there. We'll get to that probably in another video. Uh, like I said, this was a Christmas gift and I had just gotten it, so I wanted to give you my initial thoughts. Overall, I think it's absolutely beautiful and very, very colorful, which I think is going to be great for any Christmas village. I like that the tree changes colors or changes lights, rather. Um, I am curious to know if the fiber optic lines in the Christmas tree are supposed to change colors. Wouldn't surprise me either way. I think it would be cool if it did, and if it needs to be repaired, then we'll get in and take a look at that. But overall, 
I think it's really cool. And if you're thinking about getting one for your display, I don't think you'd be disappointed. There's a lot of detail, there's a lot of color, and overall, it's just really, really beautiful. And I think paired with really any house, but particularly the right house, it would be absolutely stunning. So. Those are my initial thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you have one, tell me about yours, uh, things to look for. Let me know about the tree, uh, things like that. It's really, really cool. I definitely would recommend it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.